Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am going to work today on this Autumn Folk Journal, uh, the digitals from Joey Cardmaker, and we've got the signature ready, so we're going to get flying on this journal, how about? Okay, let's say hi and hugs first. Hi and hugs to Susan, Marilyn, Janny, and Edie. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. All right, let's do this thing, people. Okay, I'm going to move that. I've got a little bit of ephemera pulled. We'll probably need more, but um, we will work with that as we go. Um, I am wondering, do I have a, yes, I think a black thread might be good in this one. Okay, have my little book cradle from Crafty Cat USA. Always have to mention that. It's a handy, handy tool. She's in on Etsy. Um, gosh, put that back in there. Okay. So, we need clips, don't we? And I might just peek through again to make sure there wasn't anything else I wanted in this one. We could put something in the middle of this one. Um... Not sure what, but yeah, I don't know that I have, oh, I know what we'll do. Okay, hold the phone. We're not going, we're going to take this page out for a second. And we're not going to sew it in quite yet. Almost, but not quite. Let's take one of the freebie pages. This one's, oh, this one's kind of hefty because it's, um, I put it on cardstock. That was just a mistake of the... <laughs> of the printing, but I'm thinking let's maybe make some pockets on that. Gosh, that's really light though. Let's see. I mean, there's this beautiful page. All of them are beautiful, but I kind of want a little more color. So I'm going to go with this one and we are going to um, I am going to fold this down about like that and see if I can get this similarly folded. I'm just eyeballing it. And then I think I'm going to, I'm going to go up with these too. Even a little more, maybe. Like that. Okay. Maybe about there. Okay, and then I am going to sew this on. And so I am going to sew here and I'm going to sew here. I'm going to cut these though first because why waste that beautiful paper when there might be something we can do with this. See how pretty that could be a pocket or something. This is going to end up being 
a spot where four pockets for stuff can be. Okay. Okay, so... I think I'm going to glue those. Let me just... Whoops. I don't need that. I've got my glue pages over here. Just going to glue them down so that when things come out of the pockets, they don't catch or anything. That's my thought. Yeah, I'm glad I chose a brighter page. That other one just kind of it blended in. I was thinking about cutting it up for some journal cards or something as I need them along the way. Okay. Remove my scraps up there. Move my glue book. Move everything else. And I think that goes that way. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this at the top and the bottom. There. I thought about sewing around the edges of the pockets and stuff but you know it's such a busy pattern I don't know that you'd see it necessarily anyway so what I'm going to do is do a quick stitch down the middle just a straight stitch and we will call that call that good I am going to backstitch a little just because that will be a spot of a lot of tension. Okay. Alrighty then. That's all we need that for moment and let's see do we need to yeah, better clip some strings here and that then I'm gonna go like that back into the um, middle of this signature and that's happy. That's a lot more fun. So that one goes there. Yeah, and then we'll put a tag there, tag there, tag, or journal card there and there. Okay, now we can sew it in. I just wanted to have that just be a little more happy. <laughs> a little more colorful. Okay. So, it's a little tricky with the raggedy, with the raggedy cover to get it um, just like I want it and also clipped. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go opposite way here. And... Flip that. And this way. And this way. 
So if you haven't picked up Joey's Autumn Folk Kit, you need to go over and get it because it is, I mean, I just, I just love Joey's work. It's so, first of all, it's unique to him. I feel like he's definitely, definitely got a style. I'm having a hard time eyeball in the middle with all this going on in that page um okay this is also tricky sewing in on the with the raggedies it's hard to see the hole on the other side so we'll work on that here in a minute but yeah anyway he just has such great unique ideas and he has his own style which i love so, yeah, I'm a, you know that, I'm a fan of the Joey. I can't find my, my little, uh-oh, I've kept, oh, there it is. I was going to say I've kept it all these years, and now I can't find it. Okay, put that in there. Let's get ourselves some thread. I've been super excited to work on this though. And we'll just, we'll see how far we get. I don't know if I'll take it to my retreat or not. Heaven knows I have plenty to do there. So I could always finish this up when I get home too. Okay, so. There's that one. Okay. Now, oh, the hole is showing. I lucked out. And this one, we're going to go up and through, trying not to split the thread or anything. Okay. Then, ooh, up here you can't see where the hole is. So it's right there. Oh, there it is, I think. Yep. It's hard with all the little <laughs> raggedy pieces of fabric. It's a little bit hard to spot it. Ouch. That went through. Just to let you know, as I bleed all over the page, nobody can ever say I don't put blood, sweat, and tears into my into my journals. Okay. Good and tight. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of all of this sewing in stuff. Okay, put this all away. How we are. I think I'm going to tie this in a bow. Okay. Oh, that's so happy. Alrighty. Look at us. Got to make something for in there and on this side. My thought with that is, what if we took one of these? I mean, because, right, that would, like, take... It's a little bit too wide, that one, but my other thought is the piece that it, this piece... 
I think I'm going to do that because you could write on both sides of this. And this way I can just clip it the size that I want it to be. A little pencil here. Do that about there. Let's see if that's going to fit right. See if that fits. Great. Yes. Okay. And then the back page like that. Let's do it also. Trying to give it plenty of room to slide. in and out. And we have this little piece to do something else with it. Another time. Let's make sure this fits before we... Yep. Okay. Let's edge that. Let's then put a whale tail on the top of each. And that will be done. didn't think about rounding the corners or anything. I think I just might leave it like it is. You could you could journal a couple of days on that piece of paper. One on one side, one on the other. I'm going to have to get busy on one of these days making Addie another journal for her senior year of volleyball. Then next year I have to make one for Marin and one for Katie because we decided their junior and senior years we do it with their and all that's in there is pictures of this season and their um, their statistics from you know from their games so So I'm going to have to see if I can find some purple. I found the perfect digital for Addie's on Etsy. It's royal blue and black. just And it's volleyball. So yeah, that was awesome. Let's see here. I have somewhere in here, I have whale tail. And these are from Paper Baker Creations. So what colors do we want like for this first one? Got that, that pretty green, maybe a green, huh? There is green in here. Yeah, that'd be nice on that one. And this one, more of a... Either orange or or something. <laughs> the orange here. Yeah, let's do the orange. All right. Oops. Throwing that in the wrong place. Okay, I'm going to take... These are embossed. And I'm going to take my... vintage photo and just go over the embossing have that show a little bit more okay so this one is the smaller of the two I do believe yes so I also want to decide I think I'd like some lace on some of the pages of this one because um, 
I don't know. I think it would just look cool with the, with the raggedy cover. Okay, so that one is going to go in here. And this little pocket page thing was one of Roxy's re weekly challenges. And I made a bunch of fall ones so that I could include them in those journals. Okay, there's that. And this one. Okay. So, well, we will have done a little good stroke of business filling filling those pockets. Okay. That was upside down. There we go. Hope I didn't put this one upside down. I might have. Yep, sure did. Oh well. Handmade journal here. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, when somebody writes their memories on it, they're not going to be able to see anyways. Okay. Did those two things. Now, don't you think that'd be nice with some lace on it? I do. Okay, so let's grab out. Let's grab out this for sure. I want. I just ordered some more of this from Journey of Crafting because I it's my favorite lace ever. Um, if I put that on there, that's an awful lot going on. I think I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to cut another one for the other side. Right. There is that one. Okay. So we're going to have one there. And then on this side, I'm going to put it on this side here. Okay. All right, what other lace do we have that would be good? I was kind of wondering about this. Get it out. Okay, we're stuck on a pin. That's what's going on. Um, this. That is not bad. So let's do one of those closer to the... Let's do this page. Closer to the middle. Okay. So we will have this here and on this side. go here okay okay um let me look further oh here's the one of those I was looking for oh well Put that back in there um how about some of this nice brown lace would be would be good in this journal I think Okay, so 
I'll go about here. I'm not going ruffles with this one. I I do have some fall ruffles, but I'm kind of saving those for the journals at the retreat might have those. And have my lace handy here, so this is working out well. Okay, so let's put you there, and then on this side, um, right here, on this side. Okay, what else, what else, what else do we have? I wish I had some big coffee dyed lace left. I don't think I do. Um, okay. But I do have, I do have trim. I could do Some trim. Uh -oh. What am I looking at? This. I mean, that's yummy. Um, that's there. Okay, that's there. That's there. What about? What about a little trim here? That's what I might do. There and here. Yeah, okay. Right. So that's going to go there. And and where? <laughs> oh, on this side. Okay. Got it. Like here. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get that on. See how we feel. And then If it needs more, we'll we'll think about that. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is go to here, put this one on. So this is lovely. Thank you for being here. You guys are the best. I just I mean, I just love working in my craft room and it, it would be so lonely without you all. I mean, yes, sometimes I have my friends over, but I work in my craft room every day and I it would be hard not to have anyone to talk to. I enjoy it sometimes. That's That's true. I do enjoy it sometimes just to be crafting away on my own kind of or by myself or whatever you want to say. But in general, I just like having you to talk to or not talk. Sometimes we don't talk. Sometimes it's just quiet because I'm thinking or concentrating on what I'm doing or something. <laughs> okay. We go there. All right. So that's that one. This one I put on the, this edge. I need to put it on its side. I just always, I think it's from the um, art glitter glue. I always make sure it's standing up. I just have to know when you're using the fat bottle, lay it down. 
Oh. Okay. Okay, there's that one. And this side. Here. This one's the stretchy kind and it wants to go crooked on me. Okay, this guy. Thump, thump, thump. My husband's going somewhere. Gosh, can you believe it? Well, when this airs, it's going to be September. I'm still kind of in denial. It's like, my gosh, summer went so quickly. I think I was looking so forward to getting together with the whole family in June that I kind of I kind of wished June away. <laughs> and then and then I was looking forward to my my retreat in July and so wished the time away between <laughs> between my family trip and the July retreat and then oh wait, I still have the trim, don't I? Um yeah. Just kind of crazy how quick it goes. Okay. And this, I'm not going to, I'm going to go right up to the edge, but I'm not going to hang over the edge. At least not on purpose. <laughs> So, so yeah, I mean, before I knew it. And then, let's see, once my, once my retreat was over, I was sick for like three weeks. And then, all of a sudden, it was time for volleyball to start. <laughs> it start, started before school started, I mean, but still. Okay. All right, well, we have our edges done. Let's see what we have in here that we can place somewhere. I've got this pretty little, um, belly band that would be nice. Oh, I think that's nice. I think I like it this way. Yep, yeah, I'll do that. We need to have something to write on. We might make a writing board for this one. Okay, and then this sack. And I did not have a um, fabric flip for this one. They were all too fancy schmancy. Okay, I would like to... More so, cover something that's hard to write on. This yellow is going to be kind of make your eyes crazy. So, I think I'll put that there. And I think I'll put it on like this and be able to slide something in there. So, that's what we're going to do with that. Um, this little guy. Let's see. This is so dark, it might be a little difficult. So I might put that there. And let's see which one of these would look good on here. 
that one. I think I like that one better. Okay. Let's see. So where would we like you? I am afraid. Well, I'm afraid that this stuck together for one thing. I have no patience to wait. Gail. Oh no. No, no. It stuck to that one. That's where it's supposed to go. Goodness. My own worst enemy, peeps. I really am. Try that again. <laughs> the orange is going to be fun to write on, so I don't want to cover that. I mean, I could go, but I don't want to cover up any of Joy's gorgeous prints, really, either. Um, too wide for that. Okay. I'm very much considering going right here. I could put it at the same height as this. I think I will. And so then on this side, I might do this. Yes. And then we'll put a tag down that. Okay. Then I have these two that I thought would be good in here. So let's see what we can do with those. That. I could put them here. One here. And Where'd that leafy one go? There it is. And put one here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do there. This just clips on. Um, so let's see where we have placed stuff. Okay, we've got it right at the end. Got it there. There. I think I might clip this here. And then on the other side, what should we do with the mushrooms? Oh, there's another clip one. So we could clip this in there. Except I think I'm going to... Yeah, because that has something on the back. Um, I'm going to flip those because this one doesn't matter which way it goes. This one I could have would be easier to get out whatever is in there. So I'm going to switch those. Okay. And then I have this little banner thing. And I have this over the top. So I am just not sure. I feel like maybe in here is a good spot. Okay, so that could go over there and then you can still you can still write underneath. Great. Okay, and then on the orange where are you, orange? Can I find it? There it is. So, I think I'll put that up there, and then we can slide a journal card. But again, you can have most the page to... Okay, so let's see how many is that. I think it's going to be around 11 or something. I'm not 
counting this as decorated. One, two, three, four, five, six on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six on this side. Okay, but I know I have, um, I know I have pockets in here that are Joey's that I want to use. Uh, let's see what time it is. Oh, I'm doing good. Okay, so let's pull out the pockets, all sorts of pockets, because I printed really goofy this time. <laughs> <laughs> and ended up with with more than I bargained for, kind of. Okay, so there's those. Is that it? Okay. Okay, so we, I definitely want to make these two and decide what I want where. I think that's better. Okay, so let's get busy with those and look at all of these. Well, I think I might end up putting some of these like on a um, journal card or something. See, I cut them out twice. I cut them out on the um, card stock and then the coffee died too. I just, I had a, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Let's see, I need my bone folder. Oh, this is so fun. I've been dying to do this journal. Okay, so I should take a moment and say hi, Joey. My pal, Joey. Just love him. Such a good guy. And isn't it wonderful to be able to, I mean, we all support each other, but when, when you know someone is just a, such a good human, <laughs> it's just even, even better. I'm going to give this a little bit of a clip just because I don't want it to show. Okay. That one's. Almost a little wonky, but that's me folding. Not the best. Needs a little clippy too. Just so it hides behind the edge. Now these. Oftentimes I'll go ahead and score these on my scoreboard. But I'm just, I'm being lazy and going for it today. Okay, so we'll get these all ready to go, decorated and stuff, and find a spot for them in there. I do love side um, or corner pockets like this because you can you can get a little more a uh, little bigger items in there than you can just the little regular pockets so it's kind of a plus in my book okay yeah i'm gonna clip that one a little bit okay and what about this one it's 
not a whole lot, but a little bit on each side. My goodness. Don't know why my scissors didn't want to cut there. Okay. That one this way, this one this way, that, and with that. So let's first put the little pockets on. And really, Joey's already distressed the edges for me, so don't have to do that. Thank you ever so much, Joey. Okay. Right about there. Okay, and then this one. I think I need to refill with art glitter glue. Oh, you know, and I need to check my check what I've got because it's getting to be about the season to order some art glitter glue because they don't deliver it when it's less than 40 and those days are a coming here. So yeah, I got to do that. Um, and you can get this art glitter glue through Gail's favorite things on my website, gailagustinelli.com. I appreciate you buying it through there. You um, just because I just get a little bit of something when you do. Um, okay, let's just see. We've got a tree. A little tree. That's cute in there. What else do we have? Got a leaf. A bigger tree, I guess. That is little house oh how cute is that that's so cute okay um i need a little something this journal belongs to oh we'll have to see if we can put that on the first page do something with that um i want a little something behind these or something. So that's a house full of love is what that is. <laughs> and what else do we have here? Handmade by. So I can put that in the back. Um, how about About the word abundance. Is that gonna go there? Not sure about the heart. I like that though. But I feel like it needs something behind it. Maybe it's a ye old book page. I don't know. And the tree. Got some leaves. Got these little stamps that are fun too. Is there something he could stand that could stand on? Pumpkin pie. Thankful. I think I might do that there. What do I need back there? I feel like I might need a... Maybe it was the color of heart. I do like the idea of a house with love. It's just not right somehow. 
Okay, I'm going to go for some scrap of a book page or something. Here's a little bit. 